Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Arietta of Spirits. Yeah, yeah. Last time we left off, we got our wooden sword. We found out we're bound, and we have a friend now. A charge bat. Oh, okay, that's why you're called a charge bat. Okay. My bad. Boom. 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 Dead. Was my bad. Took some damage. Alright, so there's going to be things hanging out in trees that want to attack us. And now we got the wasps back. What are you guys doing out at night? I thought wasps didn't come out at night. I thought that was a thing with wasps. That's why if you're ever supposed to, if you're ever trying to get rid of a wasp nest, that you're supposed to uh, do it at night. Because they're all snoozing. Get them while they're sleeping. Uh, okay, I thought that was going to hit you, but it did not. Die. Die. And die. There we go. You guys don't really drop anything, so I guess there's not a super big point to actually fighting you. Um, cause there's not, there doesn't seem to be drops in the game. It seems like I could mostly just circumvent you rather than fight every little enemy. So, what if I just do this? What if I just juke you? Haha! -ha! Cause yeah, we don't, there's, there doesn't seem to be any currency. There's not an XP system. They don't seem to drop, like, materials for crafting, so... Seems like there might not actually really be much of a point of killing them, uh, for the most part. So we may just avoid them. Might be easier. Ooh, hello. Wait, what is this? I want that. What is that? Okay, well, later. Well, there's two pads here that we have now. So, which one do we want to take? Maybe they both go to the same place. Ah. Can I cut the flowers? No. Don't know why I would want to, but, uh... Thought I would give it a shot. I mean, I killed a butterfly and I didn't think I was gonna be able to do that, so... Is there, like, a map? I don't know. I don't think there is. So, uh, I'm like, this area looks eerily similar to the last one I went to. Huh. I still don't know what that thing hanging out in that tree is up there. Yeah, I'm not sure. Ow. I didn't think you were close enough to actually hit me. Guess you like slapped me with your wing. Okay. Okay, wait now. Okay, I think it's actually changing, maybe? Okay, yeah, it's actually changed. I thought we were doing like a Lost Woods scenario for a second, where I have to find the correct path or something. Wait. Before we head deeper into the forest, there's something you should know. What is it? The echoes of those who once lived are not the only inhabitants of the spirit realm. And I'm not talking about my kind either. There actually exist many different ethereal entities. Some of them are friendly, even helpful in some ways, although that's rare. But then there are the malevolent kind. We call them roamers. They are a vile race, constantly moving from one place to another. Seeking to absorb energy from anything they come across, in an attempt to grow more powerful. And as a bound, you will be their target now too, I'm afraid. The roamers use the energy they absorb to multiply themselves. And that's why their numbers are constantly rising. Like a disease spreading through the spirit realm, soon affecting everyone. One of our most important tasks has always been to keep them at bay. I had no idea. So these... roamers are the monsters that Grandma was talking about? And they are now all over the forest? Is there any way to defend myself against them? Hold out your wooden sword. In its current form, it will be completely useless against them. But I can use my energy to awaken its full potential. Getting a sword upgrade? I want a sword upgrade. Or is this just going to allow me to hit spirits? Oh, now it's blue. Whoa! What happened to it? It's blue. <laughs> Your wooden sword isn't just any old toy. It's actually quite special. 
is something we call a conduit. Conduits are special artifacts that function as links between the realms. Connecting every level of existence to another, be it human or spirit, the bond you share with it can be used to our advantage. Although, to be honest, it is not the most powerful conduit out there. But it's powerful enough to make it possible for me to direct my energy through it. And enhance every strike you make with it. Any roamer unfortunate enough to get caught in the blade's way will most definitely feel it. Conduits are hard to come by, so take good care of it. Besides, roamers are always looking to get their hands on one. I've seen you swing a sword many times before. Wooden or not, you are more than capable of handling yourself with it. Well, yeah, but swatting a couple of angry wasps is a different thing. You need to trust yourself more. Give it a try. Okay, here goes. Yay! Your wooden sword has been turned into a spirit sword. Now you have the means to defend yourself against the Romas. Nice. I know you want to help your grandmother no matter what it takes. Remember, Arietta, we're in this together. The only way for us to stand up to them is to combine our strengths. So you make that sword swing and I'll make sure every hit it lands counts. Right. And please, call me Ari. Alright. Okay, well now it makes a little whoa sound whenever I swing it. And yeah, amped up toy. Cool. So now we do more damage each swing, which sounds phenomenal. Because those things were giving me a little bit of difficulty. Well, this area is very quiet. Trail rumor, okay. Okay, it doesn't actually do any more damage, it seems. I thought it would. But that seems just a plot. It seems like a plot damage increase. And, you know, we can actually damage rumors now. It sounded like for a second they were saying it was like actually a damage upgrade, but no. It's just for attacking rumors. Because at one point they mentioned like, oh yeah, it'll do more damage every swing or whatever. It would be weird to give me a damage upgrade so quickly after I just got the sword, so... Not really a surprise that it isn't actually a damage upgrade. I need some HP. Okay, there we go. Uh-huh. Let's just circumvent you guys. As we've been over, there's not much point in fighting you. For now, it seems, because we're not actually getting any drops or anything, and I'm kind of just decreasing my health by fighting you. So... Charge bat. Later, nerd. I mean, if I see, like, a new enemy or something, obviously I'll fight them. Just to give it a shot, but, uh... For the most part, it seems like circumventing them is probably just the best way to- Oh! Okay, your goop. Actually hurts me. I do not know where I'm going. Ow! Okay. Yep. Let's just try not to die here. You look like you might have HP in you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, there wasn't really anything to this upper path, so we do need to go down there. Uh, ah! Jesus! I was rolling in everything. Alright. Out of here, you jerks. Okay. You in particular- okay, never mind. I was gonna say you in particular died, but that shit is actually really annoying. The, like, goop that you leave behind. Load from last checkpoint, I guess. <laughs> yeah, geez, that, st that stuff stays around a bit longer than I would expect. I still think circumventing them is better for the most part, because I'm gonna lose more health fighting them than I would just circumventing them. Uh... That doesn't... Yeah, they're like little... I don't know, shit line stays a little bit longer than I would expect. Which is probably because they're a slime. But yeah, like we just gotta be careful there. Take it a bit slower. Alright, cool. Are these birdhouses up here? I thought there was some kind of nut or something that I would want to collect for some reason or another, but I think it's just a like weird birdhouse. Alright, so up here. And over here. Over here. 
Ooh. Oh, that's a pretty, that's a really pretty bit of pixel art right there. Like the log stuck at, stuck at the top and the water kind of streaming over it and the fireflies down here. This is, the art in this game is very, very pretty at some points. Like that, that is idyllic. I would live there. Jeez. What are these crumbs? Oh. Hi, friend. Lots of roamers out tonight, don't you think? Not safe. Not safe at all. Better get inside while you still can. Something ominous is in the air. Wait. You're... abound? Aren't you? I, uh, I guess. Great. Tell you what, come and find me tomorrow and we'll do some business, you and me. The name's Midri, by the way. Oh, but now I gotta scoot. Alright, Midri. Midri, Midri. I'm gonna go with Midri. Certainly not safe here tonight. Okay, you just went away. What? What was that all about? That was a mid Mididarian, one of the ethereal races that inhabit the spirit realm. They are friendly entities who work as sort of merchants in the realm. They often use bon bounds as mediums to bring them whatever they might want at that moment. And it's usually well worth it. We should definitely track him down once we get the chance. I don't have anything to trade yet. I don't even have money. And just when I thought this night couldn't get any weirder. Do we have a currency? What do I what do I use for currency? Maybe it's like specific items, like go get me a mushroom. Rather than currency, because they did say whatever they want at that particular moment, so that would certainly make sense. Yeah. Uh later nerds. And Ah, okay, you tracked me a little bit. I saw that. I should have rolled. Because you definitely did a little tracksy doodle you did. Ooh, that's a secret. Oh, I'm gonna have to remember where those are. Damn it. Damn it, I'm gonna have to remember where those are for when I get whatever upgrade clears those. I already forgot where the first one I saw was. Hold on for just a second. Look. See it? There, there is something shining on the ground. That's Grandma's ring! Just like she said. And no rumors in sight. Let's grab it while we can. It seems odd. Why would they just leave? Maybe Grandma got it wrong and they weren't after the ring. Or there's a giant monster. Huh? Oh yeah. Wow, Muck is making an appearance. Hello, Muck. How you doing? Hope we have some ground type attacks. What is that? Uh, it's one huge rummer, I can tell you that much. Oh no. It's absorbing energy through the ring. This is bad. It can do that? No time to explain. Ari, what we do is your choice. If we leave now, it'll only get stronger and start to multiply. But I'm afraid it might be way out of our league already. This is definitely not the way I'd plan this night to play out. You make the call. Given the circumstances, retreat is as good a plan as any. Yeah, but risk losing the ring? No way. Trust myself more, right? Okay. We are taking it down. A hey, you. With the eyeball. Okay, huge roamer. Okay, you have like a shockwave. Do you ever... Okay, yeah, you get tired out. Cool. That's what I thought. So dodge the... the blops. Okay, we can't hit you while you're... So we do have to wait for you to do that and tire yourself out. And then once you're tired, after the fourth one, I can smack you. Otherwise I can't. Okay, so you're not too difficult so far, but... Oh, now you're charging, because of course you are. Um, probably just ignore those for now. Uh, 
Uh-huh. And now you're... Oh, t nope. You're not tired yet. Damn it. What? You're still not tired? It was four last time, but... Oh, do we have to kill the... The babies? Do you actually get tired? That's obnoxious. There we go. Okay, yeah. Last time it was four, so I was like, Oh yeah, it's gonna be four again. But no, it tricked me. Three... Four? Okay, you are actually tired. Gotcha. You're gonna summon more friends? Okay, yep. Sure are. Ah! God, you leaving your stupid... shit stains. Okay. Okay, that wasn't the way I wanted to swing. Uh. Okay. Ah, oh my god! I, like, bounced off of the boss. Please don't summon more. Uh, of course you do. Uh, of course you do. Alrighty. Well, we are likely going to die. Uh, never mind. Oh, jeez, that was, oh, that was harder than it seemed. <laughs> what was that? Finally collected something. You found something. No idea what it is, but you'd better take it anyways. So this must be what we trade. Cool, and it full healed me as well. So that's just, uh, defeat the huge roamer. Yep. Cool. Ring. Got the ring. Good job. Hey, you handled yourself great. I knew you had it in you. These roamers were probably drawn here because of your grandmother. She was in more danger than you could ever imagine, coming all the way up here alone. But in the end, it seems they found the ring more interesting rather than her. Strange there were so many of them in the forest, though. I wonder where they crept out from. Mm-hmm. Hey, we can talk about it later. Let's get back to the cabin. I'm sure Grandma's eagerly waiting for us to return. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we gotta go back and give the ring back to Grandmama. Here you go, Grandmama. We managed to get it back. Really? Bless you. Now, come morning. Give it to your mother. And don't tell her anything about this. He worries too much already. What will I say? You're a clever girl. You'll think of something. Yeah, this ring that you were never- that, that I somehow know that Grandma wanted me to give you this ring. Well, it's my time to go. Please don't. Ari, you know I have to. Grandma. I'm going to miss this place. And all of you. A cool breeze on my cheek. And what comes to your new ability? Arco told me all about it before. Do whatever you see best. Listen to your heart. I love you. I'll be watching over you. Please. I'm sorry, dear. I'm sorry I got you mixed into this. It's all my fault. But for what it's worth, I'm sure everything happens for a reason. Grandma. No. Spirit Grandma. Goodbye, Arietta. No! Not my Grandmama. Goodbye, Grandma. Alright, well that's a pretty melancholic tone to start the game out on. I love you. I guess that's kind of how the hero's journey works a lot of the time, though, to be fair. I've just never seen it in this context. Usually, like, our village gets burned down or something. 
She... she's gone. Is this... a dream? Can I wake up now? I'm really sorry. This is all, this all must be too much for you. After I came into contact with your grandmother, I made the choice to bring you to her. She was against it, as she knew what it would mean. But because of you, she was able to move on. No, it's... I'm okay. I'm really glad I got to see her one last time. Thank you. If it weren't for you, I would never have been able to help her. What happens now? You should go back to sleep. You might want to take some time to process all of this. Yet, there is one more thing. Like I told you before, we only share our powers with humans who we deem worthy. But you will also get to choose. The power that I have granted you can be unbound if you wish so. It is a great burden to be carried after all. The relationship between a bound and their spirit guide is always a two-way street. Your newfound ability is only active when we are together. Should you ask me to, I will release myself from you and everything will be just like before. But, the truth is we need as many as in this as is possible. The number of roamers is rising faster than ever. That puts everyone in danger. And the way you handled yourself tonight is nothing short of astonishing. Take your time to think it through. If you had asked me when I was 13, or younger possibly, that I wanted to be able to access a world that was magical and nobody else had access to, I'd be like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> that was the kind of stuff I always dreamed about. I should go back to sleep. I know you don't feel it, but it's freezing cold here. Let's get inside. Alrighty. Inside we go. Nap time! Snoozing. That looks like a nice little blanket. I would, I would, I would cuddle up that blanket. I wonder what time of year it is, because I thought I saw, like, what was Christmas lights? Maybe that's just lights above your bed because you want them. Huh? Was it all just a dream? The ring. Still in your pocket. Every time. It's all real. The ring? I have to give it to Mom. You know, you sh could just leave it on her bedside table. No, I made a promise. What are you going to say? I'm just going to tell her that I found it. Yeah, I guess it doesn't have to... You, know, you don't really have to tell your mom that, you know, your grandma told you that uh, you, she needs this ring. You can't just say you found it and your mom probably knows what it is. Morning. Good morning, sweetie. You slept late. I was tired after all that traveling as well. Um, yeah. Mom? Yes? I believe this is yours. Huh? What's this? Oh my, this... This is Grandma's ring! Where did you get this? I, uh, found it. Just, uh, lying on the ground. This is our family ring. It's priceless beyond belief. It's been in our family for... Ages. Yeah, I know. I thought it was lost. 
I'm so glad it's safe. Mother, thank you. How on earth did you manage to find this? Actually, you know what? You take it. What? You would have gotten it eventually anyway. With me, it would just gather dust in a box. I wouldn't dare to wear it, and Grandma had it on her finger all the time. I'm sure this is what she would have wanted too. Seriously? Just promise to take real good care of it, okay? I'm out here fighting sludge monsters, I don't know. I promise. I'll put it on my finger and never take it off. See? A perfect fit. Looking good there. Man, how tiny of hands did my grandma have if her ring fits perfectly on a 13-year-old? Okay, so what are you going to do today? Want to come and pick some blueberries with me? I, uh, I think I'm going to explore the island a bit. Okay, dear. I'll catch you later. Stay safe. I will. See you, Mom. My cat is just, like, freaking out in there. And I have no idea why. <laughs> you good, friend? He was making a bunch of noise. So, still on the verge of deciding about this? Kinda, yeah. But I'm ready to see more. That's the spirit. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> wow, you said the same thing. <laughs> okay, what's our next move? There's a surge of energy emanating from the northern part of the island. Noticed it last night. It's the same direction from where that huge roamer came from. Any idea what's up there? The mine! The abandoned silver mine is in that direction. But no one has been there in ages. I don't know if the trail even, even exists anymore. And you have to go through a dark cave in order to reach it. You might have a flashlight somewhere in the cabin, though. No need for that. I can use my energy to light your way. Let's look for that trail. Well then, what are we waiting for? That was weird. I moved the analog stick thinking we were at a cutscene like the same time Arietta moved, so I was kind of freaked out there when we were still in the cutscene because it looked like I moved the character, but I actually didn't. All right, so to the north, huh? Ari? Ari, is that you? Dad? Uh, I'm in here. We're out of toilet paper. Should we summon the cabin? Could you help me out? <laughs> okay. Alright, well, hello butterfly. I won't kill you this time. You get to live. I've gotten my achievement. Alright, so back over here. The cabin. Where's that merchant character? I want to talk to them again, but I don't know how to find them, really. Is that toilet paper, or is that a coffee mug? You forgot the toilet paper again. Yep. Okay. Weird. <laughs> it was just sitting on the kitchen table. That's what was weird to me. I was like, why is it just sitting on the kitchen table? Well, here you go, dummy. Here you go. Thank you. Ward unlocked. Wow, that was an that was an award. The outhouse incident. <laughs> Help out father in a sticky situation. Ew. Don't call it sticky. Don't. I don't like it. Alright, <laughs> well. Oh, hey, there's another one. That's where the second one of you were. So before the first boss, or the second boss, I guess, since the Wasp Queen was the first. And then here. Of course, maybe there was one in the Wasp Queen, uh, King Queen direction as well. Oh, hey, it's you. There you are. I also realized we're about at 30 minutes, or we are at 30 minutes now. But, uh, I'm having a really good time, and I have a little bit extra time to record today, so why not do a little bit longer of an episode? Hi, friends. Oh man, I'm glad to see you guys made it out of that forest last night. 
It's been quite a while since I've seen a bound anywhere near these parts. Hi. Uh, Midgery, was it? That's right. Midgery the Merchant, at your service. Although I'm kind of on the lean side with stock right now. Hey, what's that you got there? Huh? This thing? Do you know what that is? That's a Romer core you're holding. You guys took down one of the big ones last night, huh? Great. Oh man, that's just great. You're really something. You do know how to use it, right? Use it? I really don't have any idea. Arco? Don't look at me. How should I know? Oh boy. You really don't know, do you? Okay, since I'm such a nice guy, I'll let you have something real special that enables you to use it. And, uh... All... <laughs> almost completely free, too! Normally, this would cost you an arm and a leg, but here, just take it. Uh... Some kind of key? That's what I thought. A key! That's funny. That, my friend, is a spirit siphon. Just stick it into that Romer core and you can start filling it up with Romer essence. You can gather Romer essence just by taking down those multiplying menaces. Okay, so we do get something for killing them, so there is a point. The Spirit Siphon will suck the essence inside the core automatically. Automagically, sorry. When you have the Romer core filled up, you can use it to increase your maximum life energy by one. Pretty neat, huh? That actually sounds kind of awesome. But wait, there's more! The best thing is that you can use the Spirit Siphon multiple times, should you come across some more co mul uh, Romer cores. So don't just toss it away once you have the first one filled up. And keep in mind that you can only fill up one Romer core at a time. Now, since I've taken care of my side of the bargain, how about you take care of yours? Wait, I thought you said this was free. No such thing as freebies in the world of business, my friend. No such thing! Being a bound makes you special since you can interact between both realms, as you well know. That means you can work as a medium and bring stuff from the human world to the spirit realm, and vice versa. And it just so happens that items from the human world are hugely sought after in the spirit realm. I've already set my eyes on a few exotic pieces across the land. I'd like for you to bring these to me. I must say, I'm fairly well acquainted with the human world having observed you humans for quite a long time. But I have no idea what these peculiar items are used for or what they are called. Yet that is exactly why I find them so interesting. They will surely fetch a fine price in the spirit realm. Take this task list. It holds the descriptions for the items I need. I'm sure you'll figure them out easily. You seem like a smart gal. Yes, we're going item hunting then. If you manage to find all of them, I will throw in a nice bonus for you guys. Okay, you see the spirit siphon. You cannot collect Romer essence by taking down Romer type enemies. Romer essence will be collected in your currently active Romer core. Once the core is filled, it can be activated to increase your life energy. Activate the Romer core in the objective menu. The objective menu also holds helpful information, including hits for Midgery's tasks, so take a look. Here we go. Cool, so Midgery's tasks. The first one should be easy. I've seen one at your cabin. It's kind of a folding shade. Okay, so, well, we definitely, definitely know what that is. <clears throat> that is the umbrella. So let's see how many of these we can take care of right now. Seems like an interesting way to do this. And yeah, our XP basically um, fills up our, uh, like, we, we increase our max HP by killing enemies. So basically, experience just gets us more health, which is very useful in a game where I die this quickly. Major's item found. We're just gonna give up our, uh, grandma's umbrella like that. This one was near a hidden fishing spot. It had these weird tubes with lenses. This item was stuck in a tree by a string. It had these really colorful wings. That's what I saw in a place with low light. It seemed kind of fitting because it looked like a lot like a... Okay, so that's in the mine. Hidden fishing spot. And stuck in a tree by a string. <coughs> hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess those are probably up here. I haven't seen a hidden fishing spot yet. But we'll keep an eye out for it. That we will. Alright, so let's just go up here and progress a little bit more now. I've got one of the items, I just need to get the rest, so... Oh, we do have like a fatigue meter with our rolling. If we roll too much, we'll, we won't roll as far and you'll have like little sweat droplets going off of you. Interesting. Can I get over here? I cannot. 
thought maybe I could. Hi? What's up? Hey, what what's wrong? <laughs> you can see me. Oh, you must be a bound. But please, you must help me. My precious cubs ran off last night. I'm so worried about them. There are roamers everywhere and it's not safe. Try to calm down. I'm sure we can find your babies. Thank you, miss. It's Arietta. Nice to meet you. Oh, oh, my name is Almona. Please, if you see any of them, tell them to return to this big tree. Alright. If I see any of your kids, I will do so. It is a big tree. Caution, do not enter without a proper light source. Okay, well, I have a spirit, so... And it has assured me that it can function as my light source. Okay, we can't destroy mushrooms. Good to know. Slactites? No. But mushrooms? Yes. Die, mushroom. I don't know if there's a point to me doing it, but... Oh! Okay, you shoot stuff. Gotcha. Alright, so... Wow, we need 750. Okay. Oh, but that was 40, just killing that one. Okay, that's not that bad, then. Alright, you're much easier than the other ones, honestly. Ow. As I take damage. It's basically a little shotgun monster. Jesus. <clears throat> mushrooms? I have to destroy all the mushrooms. Like, come on. Of course I gotta destroy all the mushrooms. Okay, I'm still keeping an eye out for any weird looking items. Hi, I found you! One of twenty. Okay, so you're our collectible for the game. Gotcha. Ooh, we finally gonna be able to destroy those? I think this is the way to the mine. But it's completely blocked by foliage. Could you go and take a look? The trail continues just beyond this thicket. Let's look around for a way through. Alright. Look around. What is this? Minerva's Emporium. Herbs and potions for every need. Are you gonna give us, like, the Goron? Gauntlet upgrade or something? Are you a... Are you one of the bad things? A roamer? I think you're more just a trap than anything. Yeah, you're just like an obstacle, basically. Okay, well. Die, I guess. I'm gonna go up here and see what, what the deal is over here. Hidden fishing spot? I don't think so. Okay, and this path just, yeah, but this was just another way to get to the same area. Die, die, die. You guys are actually pointless to kill because you don't drop anything of use. Alright, let's make sure there's not anything over here. Uh, okay, ow. Okay, I, I got stuck on the wall. Stupid wasp. Die. Alright. HP, please? Thank you. <laughs> I needed it. What about you? Nope. Nothing. Thank you. Alright. So up here... Okay, things are getting dark. <clears throat> oh, there's an ominous well. Because of course there is. I don't want to go meet Dompe. There used to be a cabin here a long time ago. And all that's left of it is just a bunch of rubble. I wonder what sort of person used to live here in the middle of the woods. Hermit? Guess we're about to find out. Huh? Be quiet and concentrate for a second. It may take a while. We can actually see the dead and like see the past or something? I don't see anything. Oh, wow, yeah, no, we can just, like, recreate the past, or- Whoa. Whoa. Well, that's neat. Whole cabin stuck in the spirit realm. Look at all these strange flowers and plants. I've never seen anything like them before. 
I'm guessing there's someone inside. We might be getting a new client sooner than I expected. Anticipated. But tread carefully. When an object as big as this exists in the spirit realm, it holds a lot of energy. Keep in mind that we will be inside of it. Right. I think I'd better stay hidden, at least before we figure out what we are dealing with. Okay. Can I cut your plants? No. Can I cut your tree? No. Uh, anything else here to interact with? I don't really see anything. Alright, let's just head in. Uh-huh. Anything I can steal? No. Oh. oh! Oh, I didn't even realize that was a door. Okay. Hello. You got anything for me to steal? I kind of want to steal some stuff, you know, to go turn in for the for the thingy. Doesn't look like you really have anything, though. You're boring. All right. Ooh, you look cool, actually. Never mind. Not boring. Good day. Oh my. What strange clothes you have. And that wild hair. I hope you're not one of the mine folk. No, oh, ma'am. There's no need to ma'am me. The name's Minerva. Nice to meet you, uh... Arietta. Pleasure to meet you, too. Arietta. Such a beautiful name. Now, tell me, Arietta, where are you from? It's not often we see a new face around these parts. I'm from the cabin near the eastern shore. Huh? From this island? I didn't know there were any other cabins here. To my knowledge, this island only holds my humble home. And that damn silver mine that has been driving me mad lately. The miners have been pestering me relentlessly. How so? It's a long story. Some of the miners have been getting sick from an unknown illness. And some of them have even lost their lives to that damn disease. What's it got to do with you? Well, apparently they think that I am a witch. And that I have poisoned or cursed them in some way. I can assure you I most certainly have not. I do not know the first thing about witchcraft. I used to seem like an alchemist. However, you could call me an alchemist of sorts. There we go. I have lived on this small island all of my life. This place is quite rich in herbs and flowers of many kinds, as you know. So I gather them, cultivate them, brew them up for different kinds of potions, and sell them at the coastal market. That explains all those pretty flowers outside. You like my collection? You don't usually see plants like that in the wild. There are a whole lot of things one can make with them. I actually have been helping the damn fools in the mine by supplying them with medicinal herbs throughout the years. Yet, this is how they repay me. By threatening to drive me off the island. From my home! Mm hmm. I'm sorry for my little outburst. Please, just stay as far as you can from that place. I don't think they're up to any good in there. Now, Arietta, if you're really not from the mine, would you lend me a hand? Would you like to lend me a hand? How can I help? I have been working on a certain formula for a long time now. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough, but don't have the means to finish it by myself. I would need you to collect the last missing ingredients for me. They're a bit exceptional, you see. Because of the way things are with the miners, I'm too scared to wander far from my cabin. Here's a list of the things I would need. Four red wing bat wings, eight glow plant seeds, and seven blood flower petals. Okay, so we do have to kill the bats. Huh, what exactly are you making with these? So, are crafting materials actually going to be a thing now? It's an herbicide, so powerful it can disintegrate any unwanted plant life within seconds. Plus, it's completely organic. It would be a huge help to the farmers living on the continent. Think you could manage this? You should be able to find all the ingredients if you follow the trail north from my cabin. I guess. These plants are familiar to me. They both are... They both are exceptional, since they only thrive in the dark. Ah, it looks like we have a common interest in floriculture. I'll be sure to reward you should you manage to acquire all the ingredients. Okay, cool. Award unlocked. Probably for just for meeting, uh... Uh, you. Yep, cabin in the woods. Find Minerva's hut. And get the keep grandma's silver ring. Okay. So we've gotten 10 out of 29 awards now. Making progress.
All right, so we should probably just go ahead and get out of here now. Minerva, she doesn't know she's dead, right? It would certainly appear so, yes. She's probably stuck in time before her demise. Like a loop going on for eternity. Yeah, I was wondering about that, how that worked out. But we're gonna help her, right? Well, yeah, but are we sure she really isn't a witch? For all we know, she could have easily poisoned the miners. Brewing all these weird potions isn't exactly helping her case. Just look at this creepy cabin in the middle of the woods. That's textbook witch's hut for you. And what about the ingredients she asked for? Bat wings? Really? Come on, if she's able to make that herb... herb... herbicide. Whatever. Maybe that's what's keeping her behind. Let's help her finish it. Hmm, you could be right. You're not making any progress towards reaching the mine at the moment. Might as well help her out in the meantime. Alright. The game did not save there. You said take the path to the north of your hut. Okay, so it's that path up there. Alright, well I'm just gonna screen transition really quickly so that, uh... Or maybe I should do it up here. It might be faster. Because I want to end this episode off. It's actually went on too long now. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, this this will probably... Yeah, there we go. There's a save. All right. I hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.